Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this tutorial, I will provide a comprehensive guide on fault finding and troubleshooting for a three-phase AC generator alternator. Let's get started. Safety precautions. To ensure safety, always verify proper grounding before testing. Use PPE to protect yourself, including gloves and safety glasses. Ensure that all safety protocols are in place, such as lockout tagout and PTW procedures. These tests should only be carried out by qualified and or experienced engineers who have received safety training on live equipment. All test instruments and their leads connectors probes must be checked to ensure that they are suitable for the voltage levels being tested and are in good working order. Never attempt to test a live generator without another competent person present to shut down the engine or switch gear as necessary. Ensure that the work area is safe. Other personnel in the area are advised of what you are doing. Warning notices and tapes are displayed to advise others of the hazards. Required equipment and tools. Digital multimeter for measuring voltage, resistance, and continuity. Clamp meter for measuring AC-DC current without disconnecting wires. Megger to check the insulation resistance of windings. The fault finding and troubleshooting of three-phase AC generator alternator. Fault finding can be simplified by breaking the generator down into seven separate test areas. One, the main stator windings. Two, the rectifier diode assembly. Three, the exciter stator for the exciter rotor. Five, the main rotor winding. Six, the AVR and control circuit. Seven, the PMG permanent magnet generator if fitted in this video, we will provide a comprehensive guide on fault diagnosis for the alternator main stator winding. Let's get started. Stop the generator set and switch off engine control circuit. Follow lockout tagout, LODO procedure. Disconnect the AVR wiring. Replace the AVR with a 12 volt battery. Connect the battery to the exciter stator. Polarity must be correct. Check all wiring is safe and secure before running generator. Remove lockout tagout, LODO. Start the engine and check that the speed is correct within 4% of nominal. Check the output voltage across the main stator terminals with the generator running at NO load. Using a multimeter, check all three phases in phase to neutral. The voltage should be balanced and within plus or 10% of the nominal voltage level. If the readings are okay, this indicates that the windings and diodes are in good condition. Further insulation checks only are required. If the voltage readings are lower than minus 10% or unbalanced phases to phase, the following tests are required to identify the fault. Check all wiring is safe and secure before running generator. Start the engine and check that the speed is correct. All tests are conducted with the generator running at NO load. The first component to be checked are the main stator windings. Possible symptoms of a main stator fault. The output voltage will be unbalanced, phase to phase or neutral. In single phase connection, the unbalance should be checked from LL to center tap. When separately excited with a battery, the engine will be loaded by the short circuit current in the fault. If the generator is run for a short period, the fault area in the windings area will become very hot. This can be detected by hand or from insulation burning smell. Using a multimeter, check all three phases in phase to neutral. The phase voltages should be balanced within 1% of each other. Four single phase connected machines. Check for voltage balance from line to line and to center tap. Alternatively, open all winding groups and check individually. The next test is to check the winding insulation TO earth. The stator insulation should be checked with an insulation tester. The test instrument should be 500 or 1000 volts for low voltage generators. Disconnect the AVR completely before carrying out this test. Disconnect any connections from neutral to earth. For low voltage machines, up to 690 V, the minimum insulation value is 1.0 megaohm to earth or ground. Windings must be dried out if below 1.0 megaohm. Check. The output voltage from the main stator should be balanced and within 1% across phases. Check. 
with the 12 volt battery. The voltage should be within plus or 10% of the nominal volts. Check. Insulation at Earth should be more than 1 mega ohm. If above tests are correct, the main stator is O dot K. If the output voltage is balanced phase phase, but is reading lower than 10% below nominal voltage. This indicates that there is a fault in the excitation windings or rectifier diodes. In next video, I will provide you a comprehensive guide on the next test are required to identify the fault in the excitation system, starting with the main rectifier diodes. Note, frame eight machines normally have a slightly higher no-load excitation voltage than you see in HC generators, approximately 14 to 18 VDC. The 12 volt battery may therefore produce slightly less than 10% below the nominal voltage level, which still indicates no fault found. Warning. Always ensure that testing should be conducted by qualified personnel familiar with protection systems and that all safety procedures are strictly followed. Attempting these without proper training and safety precautions can result in serious injury or death. Do not try this at home or without the necessary expertise. PowerTech Insights is not responsible for any harm or damage caused by improper handling of electrical systems. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials. See you in the next video.